Hey there, uh, thanks for joining this lecture. In this lecture, I will walk you through the setup of free tier account for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, OCI. You have to log into this URL, signup.cloud.oracle.com. Anyway, I would post this link as part of the notes section. Once you are in this site, here on the left side, you see what is always free and what you can do with $300 credit for 30 days. Let me input my details. Finish up this image challenge. Verify my email. An email verification link is sent. Let me log into my email. You see, I have received an email here. Let me confirm. Company name is optional. Home region is India South. Continue. So let me enter my address. Once you enter these details, click continue. Here is the payment uh, information. We won't be charged unless we elect to upgrade the account. Okay, this is cool. I add a payment verification method. Start my free drive. Once you click on this start my free trial, if you are lucky, you may get into Oracle Cloud Console. But I tried signing up a couple of times, but both times I got this error processing transaction. So this is what I did after this. I tried reaching Oracle customer service by emailing the Oracle support team at Oracle help underscore www at the rate oracle.com. They have responded back to me within 24 hours. This is what they said. Then I immediately went and started my sign up process again. I don't know what magic uh, they did from the back end. This time the whole flow is very smooth. Once the whole flow completes, this is the email I got immediately. So this is my cloud account and this is my username. You can click on this sign into Oracle Cloud to get into Oracle Cloud Console. But what happens is if you are at this stage, it's going to take some time to get the complete setup done. Once your setup is completely done, you will receive one more email saying your Oracle Cloud account is fully provisioned. And after some time, you would receive Another email saying that new support identifier is granted to you. You can click on the sign into Oracle Cloud link or you can go to the link directly from your web browser. It did not ask me for user ID password because I just logged in uh, to other browser. Oracle by default gets two identity providers. One is the one you can see it here, Oracle IDCS. Another one is the inbuilt IAM, Identity and Access Management. You see there are two ways you can log in, right? If you want single sign-on kind of an access, you can depend on identity and cloud service. Or if you want to direct sign-in, this is that second identity provider I am talking about, IAM. You can log in both ways. Once your new cloud account is provisioned, you get both users created. You get user created through Oracle Identity Cloud Service and federated to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Or you have your own local ID created directly in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Let me log in using this SSO. There you go. You see, I got uh, Singapore. $400 left in my free drive. Right? 
if I get into identity and security and get into users. You see here two user IDs created. One is a local user. The federation is no. Another one is the user federated through Oracle Identity Cloud Service, IDCS. There is a lot of difference between creation of users and the capabilities, especially the capabilities that the user locally created versus user federated through Oracle Identity Cloud Service that I would cover as part of my subsequent lectures. But for now, congratulations for getting into Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console. Looking forward to talk to you in the next lectures.